Hello, Exo Man Legacy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to mod your horns so that you can have them as a good character or just not have them as a bad character. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. For this tutorial, you're just going to need a few different things. For starters, you're just going to need to have Fable Anniversary installed, and you'll need a copy of Fable Explorer. To make this a little easier, we're also going to grab a file from Fable TLC. If you don't have it, it will be in the comments below. To find this file, we're just going to type in .big into the Fable TLC directory, and we're going to get the graphics.big. So let's just copy that and head over to Fable Anniversary. Inside Fable Anniversary, we're just going to go to Wellington Game. Fable data, build data, compiled defs, and then development. And then we'll just paste it in right here. Once you've done that, you can open up Fable Explorer. Once you've opened up Fable Explorer, you go to the top left, go file open and open up the two bin files. First one being names.bin and the second one being game.bin. At this point, you can start finding the horns, but in my tutorial, I'm going to have you also open graphics.big. Once you've done that, open up the second file here, which is games.bin. And then once this opens here, go to the top, press search, and then type in object underscore hero underscore horns. Once you've done that, press search. Should be at the bottom here, number 3538. Double click on that. And then you should be able to press object, then C defs. And then in here, we're going to want to go to the second one, which is C appearance modifier def. Click on links to game bin entry. And then you want to press the plus again and then graphics. Once you've done this, three things will pop up. If you have the graphics.big on, these will all be blue and it'll say what it is. If you don't, it'll just say unknown. So the first one here is just kind of small horns like you'd see in Darling in the Franks is uh, zero two. It looks similar for the second ones here. And then they get bigger for the third ones. These are the biggest they get. So if you guys want to be able to choose what horns you have, let's say you want to look like the girl from Darlin and the Franks, you can choose one of the top two. Otherwise, you can use the bottom one. Whatever one you choose, you can delete the rest of them by just hitting the delete button on the other two. And then as you can see where it says appear and disappear, you're going to want to change this to zero for appear and then 1.1 for disappear. This will make it so that no matter what alignment you have, you will always have horns on your head. So let's uh, save changes up at the top here once we are ready. And then we're going to want to right click on game.bin, save as, and we will type it in as game.bin and then save it. Once we've done that, you guys can open up Fable Anniversary. Now that we are back in Fable Anniversary, as you guys can see, we still have horns on our head, even though I loaded up a good hero save, as you can tell by the halo. Now, I made this tutorial so you guys had the customization options available to you. So if you wanted to be a good hero, but you still wanted horns like the girl in Darlin' in the Franks, that is totally your choice and you deserve that freedom. Now, if you guys liked the video, please consider commenting down below with suggestions on what I should do next. Maybe like the video, subscribe, and consider becoming a member. Next, I think I'm going to be doing some more things with the alignment options. Maybe change some stuff with the halo around. Let me know what you guys want. Talk to you guys next time. Bye.